So small molecules has been a treatment option for myeloma that has been existing since the 1950s, all the way from melphalan, which is considered the first small molecule that was used for myeloma, to the most recent one, which is Selenexer, which was approved just last month. Um, all the treatments that are being used in myeloma, the majority that are not immunotherapy, are considered a small molecule. So we have had a great evolution in the last 20 years in terms of what we have available for treatment. From going to just a few options of treatment in the last 20 years, there's been a whole new class and uh, new generations of drugs that have appeared that we can use that are more effective and have translated into better quality of life and overall survival for myeloma patients. Going forward, we're still exploring these classes of therapies and trying to find new molecules that we can use that are going to be more effective at controlling the disease while reducing the side effects of these treatments so that we can have a better aim as con either controlling the disease or hopefully to cure it. Now we do know that a small molecule is not going to be the one thing that's going to do the trick. But combining small molecule therapies with immunotherapies or vaccines and CAR-T therapy is probably going to be the best way of going forward in how we treat myeloma. It's going to be a team effort here and it's not going to be just one type of therapy that's going to be what's going to work. I think we're going to have to get creative and combine what we know, what's coming, immunotherapies, vaccines and all these novel therapies so that we can find the nice balance between them so that we can keep people in remission.